So my great grandmother is 104 years old this year. She takes no medication whatsoever and she's relatively healthy though. I'd say in the past about two years she's had significant decline in her brain function. Uh, she's, she's starting to get dementia. She can still get around. She only uses a cane to walk around. But back when she had her 100 year birthday party, she was perfectly fine. You would have thought maybe she was 80, 85 years old. Really amazing. I had a long talk with her then about just how she grew up and what she thinks is important for longevity. And she really places a strong emphasis on family and community, very active in the church. Unfortunately, we can't choose our family, but we can build a community and we can have support, even if it's only online. But I thought it was really interesting. She grew up on a farm in North Carolina. Um, of course, really good food back then. What is that? 1907, she was born, so no adultered food. So when she grew up, as she built her body, she had really clean, pure food, unadulterated, farm fresh, raw milk, <clears throat> really good food. Um, so I can't really look at what she did the past 20 years. You might say, oh, my grandma is 104 and she likes fried chicken and pimento cheese, so I can eat fried chicken and pimento cheese. No, doesn't work like that. <clears throat> I grew up on freaking Pop-Tarts, welfare cheese, Wonder Bread crappiest of the crap food so I don't have that constitution that allows me to eat not that I would eat that anyway but she just eats really crappy food and she also smoked cigarettes for about 40 years so there's a lot to be said for genetics and community and also growing up and building your body in an unadulterated environment a clean environment that gave her a lot I think a lot of uh, gene to get through also had another grandmother that lived to be in her mid 90s. We really weren't sure how old she was. She had a stroke, so she, towards the end, so she really couldn't tell us how old she was. And I had another great grandmother that made it over 100, though she was ill and bedridden for many years. But mainly, I want to talk about my great grandmother, 104 years old. She uh, she's not overweight, maybe about 15 pounds overweight, but I think that's important because see a lot of older people if they're too thin they get super frail just really really frail when they're old and of course you don't want to be fat either but i just wanted to share some of that uh some of my observations my conversation with her she like i said she placed a strong emphasis on just enjoying life enjoying the food that you eat enjoying your family enjoying your community and the people that you're around uh, she's a really interesting lady. She went to Egypt. She's been to see the pyramids. Uh, it's also really unusual to be that long lived and to be in the South, you know, North Carolina. Like I said, it's fried chicken, it's pimento cheese, it's barbecue, it's really crappy food. She did really good up until about 102. So I just wanted to share that with you. I know a lot of people don't have uh, elders in their family that have lived that long. I have several in my family that have lived a really long time. And also through adversity, like smoking cigarettes, eating crappy food, going to war. Uh, my grandfather lived a long time. Both my grandfathers lived a long time. So I just wanted to put that out there. You know, food isn't everything, but it is important. But I think it has to be in context uh, with the modern environment. What did you grow up eating? You know, that I think that has a lot to do with what you can get away with later in life.